I wasn't yours. I'm going back, I'm going back, I'm going back, I'm going, I'm going back, I'm going, I'm going back to who I was before. I like me better, I like me better. Hey guys, welcome and or welcome back to my channel. So you know what time of month it is. We are going to talk about the latest things that are coming out in the beauty space. I haven't been on Instagram like that, so I really do not have any idea what any new launches are coming out. So I haven't like uh, screenshot anything in advance, none of that. So let's go. Hemp's has a holiday collection. Are they a hair care? What are they? Hemp's is, no, they have body care, right? They have a, a holiday body care collection coming out. Very cute packaging. I don't know anything about their products. I see a hand wash, I saw a moisturizer, lotion. Very cute packaging. This looks like a gift set that I would buy like as a gift for someone for the holiday. I would need to know a little bit more about the products and like, you know, if they're worth it or not. I feel like I've seen people recommend them. But if I were if I were going to purchase one of these, I would get it for that reason, like to gift it because it is cute packaging and it is that time of the year. Okay, what is this? Lancome, okay, haven't seen a launch from them in a minute, has a Collaboration with Bear Brick. It includes lipstick. Oh, three lipsticks, cute packaging. There's a Clarifying Essence and their Genifique Serum. The packaging is very cute. The lipsticks are a very cute color. Um, I've been a gloss girl for like the last, going on three years now. I don't remember the last time I purchased a lipstick. Oh, I tried those um, Fenty lipsticks. Would I try these? They're cute. They're cute. I like the packaging the most, if anything. The packaging is very cute. The lipsticks, uh, I feel like if you're looking for those colors, that's why you would go buy it. But they do have good lip, uh, lipsticks. I just, I'm not in that face anymore. Um, I've never tried the Essence from them, but I have tried uh, Genifique and it is a very nice serum if you're interested. Will I be getting any of this? Probably not. It would not be the second video if I was not talking about something new that ColourPop is coming out with. So not a box of chocolates collection. And when you open it, it looks like a box of chocolate. So that's cute. I like the little texture on the shades. It's a cute brown palette. Usually when they do like these, you know, brown palettes that include deeper shades, they will be shades that are a little bit more flattering on deeper complexions. So if you're looking for one, this would probably be one to check out. It retails for $24, okay. Getting a little expensive there. Yeah, I feel like this stuff used to be like $12, $13, $16, maybe. Um, they have three fresh kiss lip lacquers and four cream luxe lipsticks. Full collection is $86. They do look like really cute pigmented glosses. They're brown. See now those, those might have to see me because they are very pretty. They retail for $9 each, maybe. Maybe I would pick up those little lip lacquers. But everything else, I'm good. Okay, listen. We're just gonna keep getting more and more of these collections that are collaborations with TV shows and movies and all that other stuff. So Scooby-Doo is collaborating with Mad Beauty. I've never heard of Mad Beauty. Um, it includes an eyeshadow palette, a fizzer pack, an infused sponge, a shower cap, Body wash duo, a sleep, oh, child, I'm thinking this is mostly like makeup. Um, there's a sleep mask, there's sheet mask, there's a sheet face mask collection. Um, I don't know this uh, Mad Beauty. If anything, I would only I would only get like the shower, the you know body products, and I would only get it because I want the Scooby Doo packaging, which I do not. So I'm gonna keep scrolling. Okay, Natasha did not let me keep scrolling. Okay, so uh, not again. Okay, available now, new lip kits from Makeup by Mario. I think that's cute, especially because you know like Makeup by Mario has a very close connection with the Kardashian family and Kylie, that's what made Kylie Cosmetics viral for their uh, lip kits, but those were liquid lipsticks, right? It's been a minute since I can remember. Um, but Mario has a lip lip kit, which are $20 each, a mini duo, including a lipstick and a lip pencil with a soft matte finish. It's a mini duo. Um, for $20 each. Uh, they're cute. The colors, I'm, it's the colors that's gonna make me pass for me. Okay, look at that, another collaboration. EOS has collaborated with Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice Day-O Banana Smooth Lip Balm retails for $4.99. It's lip balm, good job. You only, you're just gonna buy it if you want the Beetlejuice um, packaging, which I do not, so let me keep going. Ooh. 
Okay, uh, available now, new flavor, Balm.com and Swiss Mist from Glossier, a hydrating lip balm packed with antioxidants and natural emollients to nourish dry, chapped skin. Retails for $12. Um, it's been a minute since I've tried anything Glossier, but like they always had good stuff when I, well, for the most part. When I did try them, oh, this one, I guess, has that like Swiss, like hot chocolate, uh, at least packaging to it. I'm assuming maybe like scent and that vibe when you get it. Am I gonna get it? No. Mind you, I have not heard of like a lot of these makeup brands. Like, have I been like out of action that long? Um, new. Sagredo collection celebrating indigenous people today by Prados Beauty. Um, see an eyeshadow palette, I think those are blushes, lashes, lip products. Cute, I think the palette is giving very fall, but not for me, so I'm going to keep scrolling. Okay, this was a weird collab because I mean, like, I feel like you know, Kylie coll collabs with like Kylie and her sisters and her mother. But uh, Kylie Cosmetics has collaborated with Batman. They just getting licensing to anything. <laughs> um, they have collaborated with Batman. The packaging is very cute. I see an eyeshadow palette and at least the colors in it look like they make sense with the idea of Batman. But do they make sense as an eyeshadow palette? Cause like, look at it. You threw in some blues, a yellow, and then like the, it's... okay. At this point, I'm literally looking for anything that I can, like, Available now. So, uh, Fenty Beauty's holiday collection has launched. It includes the Icon, the Case Refillable Lipstick, Fenty Icon, Refillable Lipstick, Round, okay. Mini Baby Watts Fluid Freestyle Highlighter Duo. So, you see the little highlighters? Um, I thought they were coming out with, um, like, pressed blushes. I'm assuming this is gonna be the closest that we get because you know they have cream blushes. I, I remember Drea telling me she was gonna pick that up, so definitely check her out to see if she does uh, and what she thinks. I'm good on that though. Uh, they have the Glossy Posse Volume 5.0 Lip Gloss Balm Trio. Now that I'm intrigued in and I'm also intrigued with the Double Cheeked Up Freestyle Cream. Wait, no. Is that it? Okay, no. Oh. So I'm only interested in the Glossy Posse Volume 5.0 Lip Gloss Balm Trio because I want to own every gloss balm that there is. So yeah, that I'm gonna buy. That retails for $38. And looking at the holiday collection from Fenty, that's the only thing I'm gonna pick up. Okay, this is really bad. Like really, really, really bad. Okay, MAC Cosmetics. Haven't heard anything about uh, anything, anything that they've launched recently. Has a new collection. A brush with fate brush essentials kit, two taste of bubbly mini lipstick kits, two I love surprises eyeshadow palettes, extra dimension skin finish, bubbles and bows. Okay, I'm confused. Five sparkler eyeshadow, fizzy feels lip balm, velvet teddy party crew vault. Okay, um, looking at the collection. This little, whatever this lipstick case thing is right here is the only thing that is catching my eye. Uh, where it says Velvet Teddy, Teddy 2.0. That's the only thing that caught my eye on that one and not enough to actually like get it. I really just wanna know like, what am I looking at? Like everything just looks like it's thrown there, like it's just there. Like I'm trying to understand like the, the meaning behind launching some of this, like where are we going with this? Are y'all buying it? Maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just me, I'm just late to the party. Are y'all buying this stuff? Let me know. Um. Next thing, ColourPop has collaborated with Snitchery, very popular um, cosplayer, social media influencer. I'm looking at the collection. The collection doesn't seem to be making sense to me with who I think of when I think of Snitchery. To an extent, I'm looking at the packaging is making sense with Snitchery. I'm looking at the actual products and I'm like, oh. Okay, so it has a Divine Feminine Lippy Kit a femme fatale lippy kit, a female gaze lippy kit, a luxe lip gloss thirst trap, and a light sticks god complex. The names definitely make sense with snitchery. Um, will I be picking any of this up? Nah. I want to scroll to one where it's not some collaboration with a cartoon or a movie. Like, so you're not gonna give us anything else for the holiday season? 
Um, okay, Snoopy collection, Peanuts and Wet n Wild. So Wet n Wild has uh, collaborated with uh, the Peanut Gang. It includes Tinsel Shine Lip Oil, two Very Merry Lip Glosses, two Fa La La La, -la Lipsticks, five Deck the Nails Nail Polish. <sighs> Not begging for literally anything else. Anything else. Anything else? Okay, well, this was not what I meant when I asked for anything else. Um, this is from Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's a new eyeshadow palette, Glam To Go. Includes eight shades with mattes and shimmers for $29. It's a smaller version, but does this not look like the, like one of the last few eyeshadow palettes that they launched? I just decluttered it recently, actually. It looks like the same thing, just like a smaller version. Now, Artist Couture has new silky lip oil flavors. They are $22 each. There's Pineapple Poppy, Mango Mommy, That Girl, Cherry Chica, and Berry Batty. Those are cute. I, I haven't really tried anything. Well, I've tried, you know, the highlighter when he collaborated with Jackie. But other than that, like, I haven't really tried Artist Couture like that. But those are very cute. I love me a lip oil. Is it available at Sephora? Will be available October. Yeah, it should be available at this. Okay. This, yeah, I would buy at least one just because I like the little, you know, um, cutesiness of it. I like usually the scents that these come in and I like the lip oil. So I would pick one of these up. No, like y'all don't understand when I say there's literally so many brands here where I'm like, I've never heard of this company. Because look, new eyeshadow palette collab, German Girl Cosmetics and Doodles by the Bunny. Um, looking at the palette, the palette actually looks very pretty. I feel like sometimes you can look at an eyeshadow palette and tell it's going to be pigmented just like how off it photographs. So it looks like that. It looks like the type of shimmers that I'm usually talking about that I like that'll go on, they'll glide on, they'll be really pigmented. Um, the color story, it gives, you know, Halloween, like that spooky season type thing, but, you know, um, I'm going to pass on that one. Like Spectrum Collections is collaborating with Ash Combe. The Sculpt Collection, so it's a Sculpt 30 piece brush set in a two bag. Does that say retails for $225? Retails for $225. Um, well, makeup brushes can get very expensive, especially if you're buying collections. I'm gonna pass on that. Okay, aesthetically pleasing new skin. So if you guys didn't hear, like Kim Kardashian created um, SKKN. It was supposed to be something else, but like there was some, so they had to change the name of it. But I think it's supposed to be like a home decor and home goods type thing. It's artfully crafted from hand poured concrete, fill your space with tranquility and minimalist elegance. So there's a, listen to these prices. There's a round container for $69. There's a vanity tray for $65. There's a tissue box for $89. There's a canister for $65 and there is a waste basket for $129. You can get the whole bundle for $355. Now, yes, there are uh, certain places where you go shopping for furniture, home decor, stuff like that, where it gets really expensive. Um, and you know, it's supposed to be like a nicer quality. It's supposed to like look more aesthetically pleasing in the house, but girl, I ain't buying all $129 trash can from Kimberly. Please go somewhere. Okay, new fragrance from this is Eilish number two from Billie Eilish. This is based off the original, but a little bit more dark, mysterious, and sultry. Very woodsy, spicy, but also has soft vanilla tone with notes like apple and bergamot top notes. Um, retails for $72, which I, is, is that more than the first one? It might be. I love the packaging of her fragrances. Y'all know I didn't like the smell of the first one. So I'm, I want to smell this one and if I like it, I'm gonna buy it. And if I like it, I might just buy the first one just so I can have the bottle. But I'm intrigued. I wanna know how this one smells and hopefully I can buy it. That was a sign from God to just call it a quit. Call it quits on that one. Um, Yeah, no, these holiday launches are not doing it for me like at all. Cause literally everything is just, we are slapping cute packaging onto just like random products. Like we're just go like we're relying on the fact that you like Snoopy, that you like Scooby, that you like, you know, whoever else I just named in this video. Like, it's not even fun anymore because you can literally just look all over the place and it's like, oh, you're collaborating with that person. You're collaborating. Like, there's nothing. Where's the creativity with these launches? I get like holiday season is when brands really like you know, 
uh, kick it up a notch with the packaging and the cutesiness and stuff like that. But at least, at, at least in my mind, back in the day, you were still getting products that like made sense and that you could really like. You would be upset that if this is just a limited edition thing you can only get during this season, six months from now when you run out of it and you're like, but what am I supposed to? Do? I can't get it again. I need you. I need you to bring this back. Like there, I don't feel like that drive is there because like what, what did I just show you guys? You're like, yeah, yeah, I, that's something I want consistently. Like that's something I'm gonna miss it once I run out of it. Like you can go get a shower curtain at what? Like I wasn't feeling it. I feel like there were maybe two or three things in this video that I said, yes, I would purchase. Let me know if there are any other holiday launches I missed, ones that you want me to check out, ones that you're interested in. Let me know all that down below. Make sure to thumbs up, comment, subscribe, your notification bells are down below. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.